Hello everybody, good evening. Welcome to Smart IQ classes. Today we are going to deal with one of the most toughest question for beginners that is how to prepare for current affairs. So starting with I think many people, many of the beginners have these following questions. I meant to say that current affairs, some people get very scared about current affairs because of its magnanimity. So those, we have to read everything, we have to read the whole paper, it takes huge lot of time to study and even also uh, sometimes we feel that how to remember all these things is that uh, that much tough to get addicted to this Hindu paper or something like Indian Express. Many of the questions come into the people's mind when they start to prepare for current affairs. Here are the questions which have been collected from the beginners and uh, to solve their problems, I uh, listed out the questions which uh, forms within a bigger. Madhul uh, everybody, like Madhul, when we start to prepare for UPSC prepare examination, the first question is that you uh, have to read all the newspapers which is available in the market. Uh, and the second question, do have do you have to read all the magazines that is available? Yella papers hot beka, yella magazines hot beka, to yaw paper hot beko, yeg hot beko, and yaw the note beko, yaw the pick mark of beko. Maybe start to read the newspaper will be bit confused at what to read. If that that the uh, political issue hot beka, at wo international hot beka, sports issue hot beka, drill out hot beko, we still will be having a lot more of confusions and the for when we start to slow by day, uh, day by day when we start to read Hindu paper, how to pick the relevant and people will be saying that this news is bakwas and this news is very relevant to the UPSC syllabus or KPSC syllabus and we get the doubt that how to pick the relevant issues, how to pick the relevant issues in the newspapers and the very important question is that how to remember all the facts in the newspaper and is there any particular approach or strategy to uh, study newspaper, this comes within our mind and many people ask that do I have to make notes with this newspaper how much time it requires to make a notes with the newspaper these questions come to our mind and somebody will say that for mains and selecting practice we have to relate the current affairs with the static part and how to correlate this subject how to correlate like uh, one time, the other time only will be reading like Lakshmi Kant Odir TV, Spectrum Odir TV, or something like Ramay Singh Odir TV, in the other time only newspapers Odir TV, uh, something at uh, different time zones we will be studying different books. But how to correlate? Because the main science writing requirement is that we need to correlate the current affairs with the static part. That is the beauty of the subject we make in the UPSC. That is the beauty of the subject we bring in the answer writing. So how to correlate this current affairs? with the static part. So these are all the questions which comes to an aspirant's mind while beginning uh, with the current affairs in the UPSC preparation. So I am here to clear all your confusions and all your doubts uh, like how to prepare for current affairs and I will answer to all these questions which I have mentioned over here and to begin with we shall move on to the first question. Do I have to read all the newspapers? Is was the first question which came to my mind when I started my preparation. The answer is absolutely no. Because it is highly impossible to read all the newspapers that are available in the market for UPC preparation and it is completely useless to do such things. The thing is that just to go through one newspaper daily and also thoroughly, this makes an important keyword in this question. Just follow one paper thoroughly just go with one single paper just don't go in a random way and then don't run behind the sources like the n number of current affair material will be available in the market when you see one material you feel that oh this material is easy and when you see this material oh this material is easy so when you don't keep on jumping to material and material just stick out to the one material and revise that material for multiple times that's the best advice I can give you for your UPSC preparation with relevant to current affairs. So don't run behind the sources. This is my humble suggestion to all of you. Just don't run behind the sources. Just make sure that one source, you are sticking to one particular source. That may it be Hindu paper. Some may say that Hindu paper is very good and it, it's a paper which is followed by many aspirants. And when I start to read interviews of many people, top, many toppers, I got to know that Hindu paper is very relevant. And some people that, yeah, I followed current affairs. 
no matter it is hindu paper or indian express just stick to the one current one newspaper that can help you throughout your preparation and don't waste your time by make by reading multiple papers so just go with the one paper that can even bring you up to the higher level in the in the by getting your many marks in the examination so and uh, the thing is that the and many people ask me that do i have to read current affairs daily can't i go for the magazine which comes at the last of the uh, month and that can be helpful no that you can't be done because you have to read current affairs it's like a day meal ne uta ek martro daily uta ek martro daily breakfast ek martro daily lunch ek martro like that without skipping without failing you have to read newspaper and you have to spend 1 to 2 hours with the newspaper daily and that's the rule of upsc preparation because i'll tell you some scenario see when you start preparing for current affairs uh, now the recent issue which is going is uh, like shabrimala temple shabrimala temple which is which is the recent issue which is going on in the newspaper which is appearing both in indian express and both in uh, hindu paper so when this issue is going you need to when you when you start to read this issue when you read this issue finally in the current affair mags you may not be uh, remember for a long time like particularly what i want to say is if you read shabrimala issue daily because shabrimala issue is, is issue is coming in newspaper from since last one week so first day will read yeah it enters to your subconscious mind second day will read it enters you into your subconscious mind like that day by day when you start reading the same issue because the issue is something that which is continuously flowing uh, to the like the two to the two to three days or it may be one week or it may be even two days one day whatever it may be but when it when we read the same issue or same information daily it gets uh, it gets imprinted our mind in our subconscious mind where the information will be stored for a longer time but when it happens with a when we may come to the current affair magazine which you, which you get at the last of the month when we study that just we give it a one reading or two reading or three reading maximum and just we'll keep it and just we we'll wait for the next uh, next month magazine to come to come to us so this doesn't work out but start reading regularly pratidina or the first one dina yed dina more dina like when you study this issues which come in the newspaper daily frequently you are capable to store the information in your brain for longer time and that memory power really is very much big requirement for you basic preparation so that is the so you can also go for smart tech any other magazine but when it comes to the smart tech you current affairs we uh, exhaustively cover each and everything which comes to the which comes in both indian express and hindu paper and we have a dedicated team to uh, compile all these things for you which even we call as a spoon feeding which we take risk in so uh, for you people for to help genuinely for you basic preparation so coming to the next issue next question i mean what to read in the newspaper is the biggest question among many aspirants people tell that this news is relevant and this news is not relevant and some may be differ with this perception so ultimately what to read what to read is the biggest question within the beginners so i request beginners just go through syllabus carefully syllabus na chana both kore both prelim syllabus and main syllabus so see that each and every line of the syllabus is in your tip of your tongue so make sure that every syllabus is in your mind is in your brain and is in your tip of your tongue digest that syllabus when you see the newspaper keep the newspaper in front of you and when you see the newspaper when some lines which are present in the syllabus copy are present in the newspaper that issue becomes really uh, this, that issue become really important and is a very simple technique instead of asking some going to that person is that news important is that news important is that news important no don't go with them don't go for many people to ask what is important and what is not just study the syllabus just go through the syllabus completely bahar the syllabus just stick the syllabus time table syllabus copy in your study room and visualize it digest it verbalize vitalize and visualize three ways you go three like we use three techniques that is visualize verbalize and vitalize do three these uh, 
do these three things with the syllabus copy and when you sit in front of newspaper 100% 200% you'll get to know what is important and what is not important so every aspect which is present in the upsc syllabus if it is occurred in the newspaper if it is appeared in the newspaper that syllabus become very much important example and what is not important at the same time we have to give weightage to what is not important because uh, sometimes it is so important that you have to pick you have to eliminate what is not important and when, when you eliminate what is not important automatically what is important left behind leaves behind gets leaves behind so try to eliminate eliminate the thing instead of taking the what are all the important issues try to eliminate the things which are out of the box which are out of the syllabus so that makes your uh, selection very right manner so what i'm saying is news regarding politician political gambit or uh, blamings of politician or uh, rivalries of political schemes like which i'm which i have given a one sample uh, picture of the government scheme and one something government program government initiatives government policies or something there is a international relations which is concerned with india indian diplomatic tie ups and which is a news of internal security of india environmental issues or some sports achievement or something like arts and culture that is uh, appeared in the newspaper uh, issues concerned with the national importance becomes very popular very become very important for the upsc preparation so make sure that these issues are covered without fail by yourself no no matter you rely on some other coaching material no matter you rely on some video uh, video analysis which is given by the coaching institutions but make sure that you are preparing your own you are relying on yourself because that skill building is necessary for upsc preparation just don't wait for others to make uh, others to help you in this way of course others are always there to help you and coaching and institutions are always there to help you but make sure that you rely on yourself so go on skills which build which are built within yourself that's a very important role of an upsc aspirant or civil service aspirant so moving on i think you guys are clear with what to read in the newspaper so moving on to the next question for the beginners how to pick relevant issues in the newspaper what is relevant issues actually relevance is nothing but the topics which is mentioned in the upsc syllabus see something like indian heritage i mean i have discussed in the previous slide also indian heritage culture history geographical news and uh, what news about the india and the world and indian society or something news about indian governance and something uh, any issues regarding indian constitution news uh, news from indian polity our schemes of social justice and the international diplomatic tie ups with india so something you support technology or economic development or concerns regarding environment ecology and bio biodiversity or something we are going to study about disasters and how we are prepared to manage the disaster by disaster management studies and also even times uh, ethics integrity that are appeared in the editorial part and article part becomes very important because those editorials are uh, which really can help you in answer writing see when one thing i just want to discuss with you regarding answer writing so when you write when you when you when it comes to the answer writing part in the mains examination obviously when you start preparing for mains examination you have to write rigorously have to practice many answers so when it comes to the editorials editorials and articles articles the thing is that when you when you make notes out of it or when you go through the editorial and uh, articles the intro that is fine in the particular article introduction of particular issue as a example uh, what i can say is health challenge in india health challenge in india something like article or, or water scarcity which uh, speaks about agrarian distress in india so when it comes to health challenge or something like articles or editorial like this is the one topic and second topic the thing that two articles have come in the indian editorial of course you know some key points regarding health challenge in india or water scarcity in india though you know about the general points which are written in your books like ncert books or code books it still needs to uh, this editorial 
still you need to uh, you need still uh, you need to study this editorial because it gives you competitive edge for giving a best answers in the mains examination i meant to say that like health challenge in india health you means obviously studying general 3 uh, general studies 3 in the part of economic development you study about health here when and yeah when you study remissing book example remissing book or you any study ncert you have memorized the facts regarding health challenges in india but still all the competitors will be knowing about health challenges in india every and everybody can write at least minimum 10 points about health challenges in india or water scarcity in india but the thing is that when you focus this editorial you will get a good intro you get a good intro and a good and a good you get a main body of the very good main body to construct a an answer and you get both the uh, pros regarding health challenges in india and cons i mean positives and negatives regarding health challenges in india and also like pros and cons of water scarcity in india and you get particular data that is from a authenticated like some government report data sets like this or some international organizations data states like this so you get authenticated source to quote so this article gives entire structure for your mains anxiety of course it is proven fact that mains depends upon editorials mains answer writing depends upon editorials and articles which appears in the daily newspapers so make sure that you follow these editorials and articles thoroughly without fail so i just want to tell that uh, just collect this issue if i mean that something like uh, before two days there was a world economic forum and uh, world economic outlook indian in by uh, outlook by international monetary fund was pub uh, report was released this news is going from past 2 to 3 days the series of articles have been appeared in the hindu paper and as well as indian express so when it, when you just compile the editorials you compile you make short notes you collect that series of editorials and make a blueprint for indian economic forum or or in uh, sorry international Econo- world economic forum and make a summary of that particular report so that when you start to write answers in the mains this summaries or this blueprint which are made by studying all these articles which have uh, which had appeared in a series in hindu paper will really help you a lot and will fetch you a good marks because there you have given a good intro about uh, something like health challenges because and that intro which was stated in the article was written by a great expert remember that the articles or editorials which appear in the hindu paper is written by a experts like former chief or by governors sc by directors supreme court judges or something like great personalities when they write articles obviously the content of that article will be very much strong that it is m- above the average at all levels so when you copy that content in the mains and selecting pra- practice it will be a good strategy so make sure that this this articles are compiled by you and you can quote that intro what they have written like uh, regarding health challenges india and the main body and you get good headings and subheadings for your answers and uh, good examples to quote and good authenticated source to quote the data which is relevant in the present times so this makes your answer all time package this makes your answer a good fetching one a good fetching marks to your answer so make sure that editorials and articles are read in this way so this is what the relevant uh, relevant uh, this is what is relevant in the newspapers so make sure that you are always heading with the upsc syllabus when you start reading newspaper that that is my all time suggestion for all of you okay how to remember uh, the next question is how to remember all the facts which appear in a newspaper trust me you can't remember all the facts which have appeared in the newspaper from past one year i impossible but don't be stressed don't panic don't be panic don't worry too much just go through the newspaper understand the facts and go get the conceptual clarity which had appeared in the newspaper i have already said that when you seriously read the newspaper without fail each and every day the information will get stored in your brain some by uh, uh, by conditioning so it's impossible somewhere the memory gets stored in your brain it can't be uh, washed out somewhere it will get stored and be sure make every people every people every toppers make this strategy don't be panic oh i will remember i will forget this fact i'll never forget this fact oh this data will get forgotten what to do i just keep on memorizing facts 
don't memorize the facts because there is little time to prepare so within one year you have this much to study you have magnanimous magnanimous syllabus to study so just memorize the don't go for memorizing the best just understand the topic get the conceptual clarity and read regularly and then you get the monthly compilation revise thoroughly that's the only requirement for upsc syllabus no nothing called as intensively preparing your paper is required for upsc examination just understand what is going around you just don't get stressed that oh this is something which i have to i have no nothing like that just get the things which is going around you within yourself that's the only requirement which is required and don't memorize the facts this is absolutely useless and don't worry too much don't be panic and understanding all the facts and remembering all the stuff from top to bottom for one year is highly impossible and eventually things will only come to you if you keep on reading the issue again and again and it will enter into your subconscious mind it will not get lost away remember and finally monthly magazine will be material for your memorization this is the technique what i can give to you and when we come to the next question do i have to make news uh, notes out of newspaper this is the biggest question every people ask with me whenever they come to me for their guidance so it's that i can't say yes and i can't say no it's your choice it's your wish if you want to make notes of course you can make if you want to know if you don't want to make notes if you just want to uh, like understand the things and leave it away and finally we'll revise the whole material which you get at the end of the month that is called as monthly magazine it is purely okay it's completely your wish that you can make notes or not so but what my suggestion is by making notes out of newspaper don't waste your time by by spending the whole day for making newspaper for whole day for making notes for newspaper no that is not complete that is rolled out because trust me there is lot more to study because you have to cover basics you have to read many ncrts you have to study the code books which are bulky and you have to ready you have to study current affairs each and every day so it takes 2 to 3 hours in the beginning and it is this much to study while you have this much better to go with just read the newspaper understand the facts try to read uh, try to retain the facts within you don't be panic if does if it if it doesn't get retained just go with the final magazine which is provided to you in the end of the last month so it is that make sure that if you are giving time for other subject or the, the same time while you are making notes uh, simultaneously no matter there is no issue but give proper you have you should have a proper study plan i mentioned here like you have time you, like have time for you know, going around like relaxing your mind have time for reading have time for eating food eating proper making a proper diet within yourself and again revise again study go for some sports activities and again study so make your time table in an authentic way that you are giving time to each and everything don't make your head to get more weight just be relaxed be calm be composed and make your preparation that it is going in the right path with relaxed mind that is the most important requirement for upsc examination if you are not happy if you are more stressed really you can't crack the examination be more happy to study more and more you should be more happy you should be enthusiastic you are you should be more energized have enough sleep don't uh, waste the time with other things roaming around and all have a proper schedule and if you are handling all the things by even making notes out of newspaper it's well and good coming to the next question how do i correlate the current affairs with the static part this is one of the dynamic questions which people ask with me sir how to correlate because at some one week before i have read ncrts one week before i have read lakshmikant one week before i have read something economy but today i am reading current affairs but i forgot all the things that i have read before one week and now i am here how to correlate yes of course you have to correlate and correlation with the current affairs and the static part is a really required required concept for upsc examination because i tell you something um, when you study some issue for example i have quoted here for example you have studied about triple talaq issue which has appeared in the hindu paper you have studied like triple talaq like, oh, this is the conditions of the of oh, women in india so we need to give a justice this was the content which is present in the newspaper but when you study that 
again part in when you hold the world that bulky book lakshmi kant or when you study that polity subject when you study uh, right to equality as a fundamental right when you study about fundamental rights that is fundamental rights you will study from article 14 to 18 that is right to equality and right to equality in article 15 there is should not article 15 states that discrimination against uh, any person with respect to gender or sex or something is prohibited so right to equality so i mentioned the court right to correlate uh, think that oh yes triple talaq issue how to provide equality for women so we have to empower men with the equal rights as many as many is enjoying so try to relate so when you provide when you get a mains question you get a question regarding social versus women empowerment uh, women empowerment you are quoting an example that as triple talaq is an example or you are giving giving an illustration filled with current part and core part that is core part means static part which is present in the books and the current part that is dynamic in nature which is uh, appearing in the current uh, newspaper not just we should sit and study or we have to sleep and study like that so if that my better thing my these are my three suggestions to all of you better to make sticky notes while you prepare for even if you don't make a short notes even if you uh, if you don't have time to make notes from the newspaper just make a sticky notes just take a sticky notes write the important or at least the headings or at least the contents which you have read by without saying after reading the newspaper just close the newspaper keep it aside take a sticky note make an important part what you have read in which news what you have read and this second news or what you have read and third news what you have read stick it write it on the sticky paper and stick it on the uh, stick it in your study room so that while go, go going inside and coming outside of your study room you'll be visualizing it and when you sit down and you start stand up you'll be visualizing that sticky note where the again the information will be conditioned in your subconscious mind where the information will be stronger, stored for a longer time this one strategy you can make from my side and yeah second thing is remember newspaper is a real bhagavad gita for you basic preparation without newspaper nobody can crack your basic examination and it's very true now my thing is treat newspaper is as the uh, newspaper like a daily meal you don't forget to have a breakfast you will not forget to have a lunch and you will not forget to have a supper at the same time newspaper is your fourth meal don't skip your meal make it as a meal don't skip your newspaper reading just stick it as a meal yeah, make it as a day meal my second suggestion for all of you people and third one is make a group discussion because when you explain some things which has appeared in the see when you start to read the newspaper you'll be reading the newspaper in the first reading you'll be reading second you understand third you you get the conceptual clarity with that our topic and fourth time you are explaining it to your friend you are explaining it to your friend or your friend is giving some comments so you are sharing some strategy here and you are sharing some perceptions and you are sharing some ideas and you are sharing some tricks and tricks you are totally managing the current person in the right way and always sharing is a caring one so it is called as a group discussion make a peer group create a peer group which are don't make it a huge group with few members two to three members a small group make a good peer group who can deliver you a good information which are shared by them and you share this information with them so when you keep discussing this facts instead of talking something nonsense which is not required which is not prescribed in upsc syllabus go for the issues which are important for upsc examination that have appeared in the newspaper so i think i have answered enough and i have answered thoroughly for all of your questions which will come in the beginning for every aspirant uh, when saying this wish you all the best for upsc preparation if you want daily current affairs analysis from smart iq subscribe to our channel smart iq current affairs get daily current affairs analysis and the same explanation in a simple way where the song conceptual get your conceptual uh, concepts get simplified for you people so by presenting this lecture thank you thank you and all